Hey, good afternoon. Courtney Scott here with Knowledge Well Media. It is September the 27th of 2017, and uh, as usual, there's no shortage of news. Um, I don't know what part of the world you're in, but from where I stand or where I sit, uh, it, it's looking less and less like a free uh, society. Seems like every other day we're being stripped of more and more freedoms. Um, and by the way, liberty and freedom are not one and the same. All right, freedom is is to do what you will, as long as uh, you're not doing any harm to your neighbor or your neighbor's property. It's, the, it's, it's what's known as the common law or laws that were given to us as people of God. Now, liberties, liberties are something different altogether. Liberty is what government affords people, especially when you have governments like ours that steadily encroach on the private sector and so then you find that they'll take over more and more uh, businesses and they'll take over things that at one time were uh, ran by the private sector and you know, we the people. But then, uh, once government gets involved, then they afford us what's known as liberty. In other words, I'll give you permission to do the things that you desire to do, but you'll need a license to do so, or a permit. Big bump coming. Sorry. Um, so, I mean, if you, you know, a lot of what I'm learning now has to do with the etymology of words. And when you look at words and roots of the word, you'll a lot of times see what was intended by the creations of such words. You know, so etymology is a powerful tool. You know, when we were in elementary and grade schools and there was a, a topic called spelling, if you recall. Why do you think it was called spelling? S-P-E-L-L, -L, spell, I-N-G, spelling. Because with your words, you are casting spells. It's no wonder why in the teachings of the Bible, it said that life and death lie in the power of the tongue. You know, what you speak will come to pass. All right, so just a little side note on that. But anyhow, I what I really wanted to say is that I'm, I was sitting here listening to Donald Trump speaking and I had to cut it off not sure at what point I cut it off, whether I was midway or just in the beginning, but I'm just paying attention to the things that is that are coming out of the president's mouth. I, you know, I, I don't have anything uh, against the position of the presidency. It's not the office, you know, same thing with, with law enforcement. What you really are respecting is the fact that the, he has a badge, or he or she has a badge on. You're respecting the office, not the person. You may not necessarily care much for the person, but what we respect is the badge, and probably the gun as well. But, you know, so I don't have a problem with the presidency. You know, I, I live in, the, in, the, in these Americas, you know, and, and, you know, people say, well, 
you know, if you, if you have a problem with where where you live at, if you have a problem with the Americas, then why don't you just move? Why don't you just leave and find another place? Well, number one, I don't have a problem with where I live as far as America. I have a problem with uh, big government. I have a problem with bureaucracies and, and, and political agendas. I have, That's the problem I have. It's not where I live at. The landmass I have no problem with. Hey, you know, I wouldn't even get up and go to work every morning if I could just have be if I was just free to roam and do what I will what I want on the land as long as I'm not hurting anybody or their property you know if I could just go pick out a plot of land pitch a tent throw up a campfire you know me and my daughter and my family and we just hang out and we go fishing and find our own foods and things like that but that's not the case we are caught up in what's known as the what some people call the rat race you know we're caught up in taxes and and things that are we're not even supposed to still be taxes are illegal you know so again i'm rabbit chasing here but you know as far as the etymology thing goes um so you look at words like permit or license if we're so-called free then why do we need license to operate our motor vehicles why do we need permits to go fishing especially if you plan to eat the fish you know god made the fish and the deer and all those things that all comes from him and he set everything in order he set everything in motion you know so that the animals would reproduce after their own kind and then they would uh then you know i don't i don't know if necessarily we were meant to eat the meat of the animal um uh, i i happen to believe that we we're mainly supposed to be on a vegetation diet um you know but that's just my opinion but why do we need a permit and licensing if we're free you know, I th some things I think about. But anyways, I was listening to, I know I'm jumping all over the place, but, uh, you know, it's, try to record something while driving. But anyways, you know, I was listening to Donald Trump, and, and all of the things that are coming out of his mouth are just things that we've already heard. You know, and there's claims he's making that he's done this now, and uh, one of the things he said was the black unemployment rate is the lowest it's ever, and... You know, he's just going on and on about accomplishments. And, but I, I don't know about you, but do you feel in your world the effects of any positive uh, uh, movements or, or things made in the political realm that are trickling down to you and making you joyful today? You know, are you not still paying the same taxes or even more for that matter? Do you feel fulfilled in the promises that were made as far as uh, repealing and replacing Obamacare? I mean, when Obama was in office, I'm sorry, but he was like a gangster. If he said he was going to do something, he just did it. You know, he said, I got my paper and my pen. I'll do what I, you know, that's what he did. And as far as I've known of Trump, he's anything but able to be controlled. So why isn't he just doing things? Why isn't he just with his paper and pen just writing off and, and getting rid of this Obamacare system that he swore to do? Now, again, I don't subscribe to, you know, focusing on debating the political realm because I know that it's all, it all comes from the same vein. It's, there is, there is no difference between the two, the Democrat and Republican. There's no difference. They come from the same school, the same class. So, um, yeah, just some things to think about. You know, we've been promised all these things before, and as usual, nothing has changed. And, you know, it's going to come a time where the people are just going to get tired of it and fed up with it. But, you know, I just wanted to weigh in on that. But, uh, yeah, what do you have to say? Put some comments down below. Like, subscribe, share, comment. And uh, we'll see you next time. And uh, as always, find God in your day. It's Courtney Scott with Knowledge Well Media. Be blessed.